Jaybirds, it's me, the Jaybin here. Welcome to my show on the couch with the Jaybin, and we are gonna be talking about obsessions. So, let's talk about it. So, before we dive into a discussion of obsession, let's take a look at the vocabulary or the meaning of obsession. So, I went ahead and went to dictionary.com and the, the vocabulary that it gave me was the domination of one's thoughts or feelings by persistent idea, image, or desire. And so basically I highlighted two words here and that's domination and persistent idea. Um, so domination is like the overtaking part and then persistent is like this continuous like push and pull of this feeling that you need to, you know, need to have this and continue to do this right it's persistent it continues to pull at you and so this desire this persistent desire um is now taking over the way you're thinking about things and and in your life right so that's obsession but with obsession there is a um similar word and it's compulsion and compulsion um the vocabulary for that is something that compels or it's an irresistible impulse so when something comp compels you um it's pushing you to do it more right because it seems nice it's it makes you happy and it's irresistible there's an, an irresistible impulse that's pulling you towards that that obsession that you have and you're like I need this it needs to be part of my life because it makes me feel this way and it it takes over your life right so now that we know somewhat of the meaning of obsession let's go ahead and start talking about it and so my first question was why do we get so obsessed and is it because you have this need to feel complete or this need to fill this emptiness inside you or with other people if you're obsessed with a boy if you're a guy you're obsessed with a girl and with people it's like the feeling to feel loved by others or is it for that instant gratification because it makes you feel happy it gives you this rush right and so when it gives you that instant gratification or that instant rush in your life you're like oh i need more of this because it makes me feel this way and so whenever you feel like sad or depressed then you turn to this thing this obsession that makes you happy and so the cycle continues on and you continue to use it and that's when it's an obsession and it turns into an obsession because it makes you feel happy so let me know why do you get so obsessed is it one of these reasons or do you have another reason that you would like to share when we try to fill in this void that we have this emptiness with these things basically these things that are from this world um is doesn't really satisfy you and maybe it's because of the satisfaction that you need that instant satisfaction well those things can't fill you up because those are empty objects it it can't make you feel whole because it's empty and when you continue to you know fill yourself up with emptiness when you're empty yourself what happens you're still going to be empty in the first place right so when you're filling yourself with nothing or with emptiness, you're still going to feel the need to continue this cycle of whatever your obsession is. How does it start? How does your obsession start? Or how did, you know, how did it begin? Where did it start? And so for me, when I was younger, I liked collecting quarters and basically the 50 state quarters, right? And so with that, um, it made me feel happy. I had that instant gratification from it and I wanted to feel accomplished. And so with that, I got a rush out of it. And so that's how it began because it made me feel happy. I had this instant rush I got from it. And so I continued to do it until after I got them all, I was like, it's over now. So what do I do now? And I still felt empty. Um, the happiness went away and I was like, I was sad. I'm like, oh man, it's all done. And then you kind of move on 
still collecting but something different and then there goes that obsession cycle again so how did your start is it because of that is it because it did make you feel happy is it because you did feel satisfaction from it let me know so the last question here i know we're going through this really quick but um i hope you're learning something from this even though we're kind of going through it pretty fast so my last question is when should we stop this obsession and i believe that we should stop our obsessions when it when it starts to take over our lives when it's become this number one thing when it takes over our focus to focus on that okay so that's when we should stop and so when you don't do when you don't stop and when it's taken over your life what do you do you kind of put the people that you love aside and they become secondary or last even in your life and so you lose your relationships with the people you love um when it's taken over your life it can definitely drain you financially emotionally it can drain you physically your health goes down there's a lot of things that can come with obsessions and it's happened with a lot of people out there um kids who are obsessed with a, a certain game they forget to eat healthy they forget to drink and so it happens their health deteriorates um people who are obsessed with collecting their finances go down the drain um because they can't live without collecting or they can't live without these things and so they build up and it ruins people's lives it ruins people's relationships with each other if you're married and you're and you're obsessed with gambling what happens you lose all your money uh your wife worries about you or if 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 you're a girl like me your husband worries about you and you're trying to make this relationship work but you can't get over this obsession and so your marriage falls apart and your relationship with your kids are are ruined and if you're young like me it can ruin your relationship with your parents with your siblings even with your friends it takes away that and then your happiness goes down and you're like what am i doing wrong and if you can't realize that it's because of your obsession with this thing that's happening then you lose all of that and and it's that whole mindset of nothing else matters but this and so when you put that obsession first then everything you worked hard for goes down the drain and you lose everything right so the next question that we should ask ourselves is what can i do to overcome this obsession i have um and the only answer i really have for you guys and some of you might not agree and that's okay if you don't agree but please leave this into consideration really think about it when i tell you this answer and that is changing your obsession to god obsess over god and his love for you that's the only way you can ever ever get over this obsession you have that is taking over your life is being more obsessed with god is it going to be easy no it's going to be tough but it's worth fighting for and before i get to the how part of or why part there is a verse that i pulled out of the bible and this is from the niv version and it's in romans 8:6 and it reads the mind governed by flesh is death but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace um so basically what this is talking about if your life is being taken over by selfish desires by worldly desires then it will cause a sense of death to the soul and you will have nothing left if you continue to live a life or if you continue to let your life be taken over by the world standards but if your mind is being governed by the holy spirit and you allow him to help you and to be a part of your life then all you could ever have from him is 
life, and peace from God. And you have to ask yourself, how can I have this? How can I achieve this? It's as simple as praying the salvation prayer. But to understand the prayer, you have to understand your relationship with God. You have to understand, do I have a relationship with God? Ask yourself that. What is, is it, is it, what is it like to have a relationship with God? And you have to look within yourself, how is my life today? And what am I doing to my life today that is taking me away from achieving that? Because you have to ask yourself, am I truly a good person? inside am i truly a good person and if we if we are judged by god by his standards through the ten commandments okay i know i know what this you probably know what this is turning to but let me just get through it real quick if we get judged by god's standards okay let's say you're there and he had the ten commandments is right there and he's judging you by that would you be innocent or guilty? Ask yourself. Have you ever stolen? Then you're a thief. Have you ever lied? Then you're a liar. Have you, you know, ever lusted in your heart towards another person? Heterosexual or homo homosexual? It's the lusting, right? And it doesn't even have to be like people. It could be lusting over objects, you know cars, motorcycles, clothes, you can still lust after that if you have lust in your heart. You know, God looks at the heart and if your heart is in the wrong place and he's judging you by his commandments, then are you innocent or guilty? And that's only just three out of the ten. Even if you break one out of the ten, if he was judging by the ten commandments, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? So where would you end up? Hell, right? And you wouldn't want to go there, right? So really look into your heart and see where you stand on those questions that I just asked. God made a way for us to be reconnected with him and to have a relationship with him and to live a life fulfilled with him. And that is when he himself became flesh, Jesus Christ. And um, he sacrificed himself on the cross for us. And shed his blood for us on the cross and took upon our sins on himself so that we can be forgiven of our sins and have a life with him again and so but you ask yourself well then what do i need to do pray the prayer of salvation once you have done that then you are reconnected with god you have a relationship with god and you can have a life that is fulfilled by him and the prayer of salvation if you haven't prayed this yet i highly recommend it and it's really easy it's very simple all you have to do is pray lord forgive me of my sins forgive me of my shame cleanse me oh lord and come into my life and be part of my life and i give my all to you my life is in your hands amen so pray that prayer. Don't pray the false salvation where you just put 50% of yourself or less than 50 of yourself. You have to give all of you to him. And then you will be forgiven. And so, because if you don't, then you're going to continue on that cycle again of that obsession you have. Uh, it'll come back again if you don't pray the full prayer of salvation if you if you don't give all of you to him and is it going to be easy no there's going to be a rough roads ahead of you but totally worth it because you're living a life for the glory of god and you're living your life by being obsessed with god and that is the most amazing feeling ever it's knowing that everything you do is for him and you're happy because of him and you just feel this amazing feeling of peace and joy in your life when you obsess over God. 
So change your obsession towards God and not the world. Amen. Amen. Alright, Jabers, well, that's all that I have for you guys for today. And if you like this video, which I hope you do, hit those thumbs up because that would be awesome. And I would love to do more videos like this where we can openly and candidly talk about certain um, topics. And that would be really fun. And so please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel because that would help me out a lot. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like to leave any requests, go ahead. Just leave your request right down below in the comment section or use hashtag TJRequest to any of the social media sites that I just shared to you guys. And you can leave your request there. So Jaybirds, what time is it? It's time to fly away. It's time to fly away. I'll see you guys next time. God bless. And remember, love God, love people. Bye.